Hi, I'm Vicki Betancourt of Coney Bear Clean Tech. We're a clean technology and renewable energy consulting, recruiting, and training firm. And I've just interviewed Miguel Polito, the mayor of Santa Ana, and he has shared with us some of the challenges that cities are facing right now and the types of uh, clean technology, renewable energy, and water solutions that cities are seeking uh, today. I'm going to be showing you a short clip from our interview, but if you're interested in seeing the entire interview, there's a link below that you can click to see that interview as well as another link uh, to invite you to our Coney Bear Clean Tech Leaders Conference on May 14th in Irvine, California, where the mayor, among uh, other speakers, uh, will be sharing lots of really great ideas about our future in clean technology. Thanks. What recommendations do you have for the marketplace as to what the challenges are that cities face now and what types of renewable energy or clean technology solutions cities are needing now and, and how can they... Well, for, first of all, I think even though we've been at energy conservation for a long time, I mean here in California with Title 24, mm -hmm. if you look at our buildings on a square foot, you know, uh, you know, basis per year, we use about 50% less than buildings in other parts of the country. So, you know, we, we build them with, with efficiency in mind. But, but, but conservation, there's still a lot of waste. There, there, there's still a lot of light bulbs that are not LEDs. You know, there's still, you know, HVAC systems, heating, venting, air conditioning mm -hmm. systems that, you know, don't get, have good thermostats that are, that are maybe old or antiquated. And, you know, you're heating air and you're cooling air and then you're mixing it to get the temperature you want. Um, you know, there, there's, mm -hmm. you know, variable speed drives. There's, you know, digital thermostats. There's, there, there's, you know, heat pumps. There's different ways of balancing loads and buildings. You know, conservation and, 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 and smart design a huge, huge long way to go. We also have to change our way of thinking about certain things. For example, I mentioned water earlier. Mm -hmm. You know, traditionally water is something when it rains, we just try to get rid of it. We would not let you come to City Hall and, and, and build anything if you didn't have a good plan as to how you're going to get rid of the water. Right. And, you know, you have to have the drainage and you have to have the runoff and you, we just want it in the gutter and we want it off the property. Now, thank God, we're saying keep it on the property let it go into the aquifer you know you know french drains or, or, or storage areas when you know the little rain that we get let's treasure it let's save it let's not make it go away into the ocean let's try to put it into the aquifer so 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 conservation you know how do we save along with smart design along with good policies from cities you know they're all they're all imperative you know, in, in terms of technologies, we're going to see more building integrated solar where the skins of buildings are going to have, you know, solar cells. You won't even be able to, to, to distinguish them. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we don't really have enough wind in this, you know, part of California, but we do in others. And there, part of what we need is, you know, how do we generate electricity in one area and get it to another area? So, you know, we, we, we still need the regional solution as we go in a, in a distributed manner. We still need certain regional things, but you know, in wind, things are getting very, very inexpensive. In solar, photovoltaics, I remember, you know, you know, they used to be, you know, 20, $30 a watt, and then it was in the teens, then it was under 10, and then there was a magic number of, will it ever reach a dollar a watt? Well, now it's below a dollar a watt. And, and, and now, you know, inverters are becoming smart, and that's important. Because now you can maximize the interaction between the user and the generator and, and the utility. And, and, and again, this is technology. I mentioned the internet earlier and the megawatts and the megabytes. Well, you know, you know smart uh, uh, you know, chips that, that are able to get us all to communicate. That is, that is, that is huge. 